Ladies and gentlemen, tis I, the Tri-State Big Mouth, the biggest and baddest mouth in the Tri-State area, your mommy's best kept secret. I haven't posted on this in a while. Unfortunately, there's only one subscriber and barely any noise. Let's hope this changes. I want to tell you about something that happened to me yesterday. I answered an ad on BedPage uh, yesterday to an Indian girl. I was texting her back and forth. I asked her what nationality she is. She said Caribbean and um, it's a beautiful girl. I wouldn't know how to upload the picture. I would love to. I drove to her, which was a 40 minute drive to get to there. I see a dark figure opening the door for me, welcoming me in without saying a word. Now, it was my stupidity. I should have paid attention before entering. Upon entering, I take notice. It's a trans man. Immediately, the trans man, I get upset. I get very angry at that point because he posts a beautiful Indian girl, something that in his wildest imagination, he can never fit. Just because you're a man... Who wants to be a woman doesn't mean you have to take somebody else's pictures, post them to get a guy. I didn't know his true intentions. So he goes, can I get a hug? Don't be so angry. Can I get a hug? I refuse. I will not hug a trans man who's trying to catfish people and take advantage. Seeing that I wouldn't give him a hug, he grabs my crotch, gropes me. At that point, I'm just so fucking confused because this is the first time... Something like this has happened. I've never had this happen to me. So when I say, don't touch me, have some respect, he shoves me in the throat and spits in my face and demands I pay him because he opened the door to me. If you haven't noticed, groping is sexual assault. Two, choking is uh, uh, many, two charges, uh, assault and battery, and assault. Spitting is assault. Now I know what you're thinking, Rizu. Why didn't you hit him? I was too damn shook up by the whole experience. I dialed 911 because he locked the door. That's kidnapping. Four charges. So he demands and I refuse to pay. And I'm waiting for him to hit me one more time so I can unleash a fury onto him so that he understands, yes, it's a him, it's not a her. Just because he put on a wig doesn't make him a her. His mental sickness, he wanted me to be mentally sick, and he wanted me to imagine that he was this girl, and to pay him if I don't like it. So I called the cops immediately, and I left, because I was too ashamed, I was groped by a man, uh, I was spit on, I was shook, and I was, it was attempted robbery. Uh, he tried to do it to somebody else. I warned him. It's a trans man who's trying to rob you. And this is what we got dealing with. It's men like this pretending to be women that make it worse for other people. See, if he told me from the start, I'm a trans man, I would have had no problem. I would have talked to him. I would have gave him affection. But because he posted a picture of a beautiful Indian girl and then demanded things... From a lion among men. It's not going to happen. He recorded the whole thing. I'm waiting for him to put it on Facebook. This way I can press charges for sexual harassment, for groping, for attempted robbery. I just want him to make that flawless mistake. He made fun of my teeth saying they're yellow. I put yellow coloring in my teeth. Some of you don't know this because I love the attention. And it ticks a lot of people off. But I learned something from this experience. I learned that you should always defend yourself, especially in that circumstance. One thing I didn't want him to do because it's a trans man was the papers to Ray say, Tri-State Big Mount attacks a man, trans, a trans woman. When in reality, we both know it's a man with tits. Shameful.